game over, man. Today we're going to take a look at Aliens, the original year's omnibus volume 2 by Ian Edginton. It has a 1,032 page count and the cover price of $125. Let's get into this omnibus review. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, it really helps the channel. Like and comment to get yourself entered in the giveaway. Today we're taking a look at Aliens, the original year's Volume 2 Omnibus. This is the DM version of this Omnibus. It has a great looking spine, man. You get the covers collected on the back of the Omnibus there and you get great cover art on this dust jacket from Paul Mendoza. Slipping off the dust jacket, let's take a look at the inside flaps. On the left-hand side, you have setting up to what is uh, collected in this Aliens volume and on the right-hand side, a list of all the creators, which are many. And this has a absolutely beautiful wraparound cover, man. That Queen Alien there. This is from uh, Aliens Rogue, issue number four. But an absolutely beautiful wraparound cover, man. Love the colors. They pop so nicely, and it's just gorgeous. I love that painted look. Definitely, uh, this is like one of my favorite wraparound covers of all time, man. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's take a look at the binding real quick. It's sewn binding. Not much of an eye in this, uh, but... Uh, it's a pretty decent, uh, you know, there's not too much of gutter loss throughout this book, which is nice. So so let's crack this sucker open. You get the black bookend pages. You get the uh, alien cover page there. Then you get a list of the creators, everybody who worked on all of these issues and graphic novels, short stories, whatever you want to call them. There's magazines in here. Then you get a uh, table of contents in here as well. I will say that so far, reading the first one and now this, I do appreciate the uh, the depth they go into in the table of contents and making you know like what exactly is collected in this omnibus and it's in the correct order, which is, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen in other omnibus. So that's definitely a shout out to them for uh, just having all that detail in the contents. And speaking of shout outs, let's just shout out some of the writers and artists on this book. So for writers, we have Ian Edginton, John Byrne, Peter Milligan, Jim Woodring, Edward Malton III, David Gribbins, Dan Jolly, uh, Mike Cook, and an artist, we have David Roach, John Byrne, Paul Johnson, Mark A. Nelson, uh, Will Simpson, Mike Mangola, uh, Matt Hollingsworth, and Paul Mendoza, who did the, uh, the cover for the uh, dust jacket. This is a great little short story right here. This is from uh, previews 1993, 1 through 12, and previews 1994, number one, Earth Angel, which uh, is really cool. It's done by John Byrne, too. So this is uh, John Byrne's little addition to the book here, which is kind of cool to see him uh, get down with the aliens. And then in, in the end, it uh, kind of leaves off to, like, maybe this man being Ripley's father or something like that, which uh, was pretty cool. But it's a little, look, biker gang, xenomorph action going on, which is really, really cool, man. Then it goes on to this uh, Aliens magazine, which is fantastic, man. This is probably my favorite story in the whole book, honestly. So this is Aliens Magazine 9 through 12, Sacrifice. Uh, there's this woman, Anne McKay. She's like a part of this missionary ship that uh, ends up crashing in this area. And uh, she meets this group of people where like a xenomorph has been terrifying and like stalking the group for like nine months. Um, they leave like this, a baby out on an altar stone for uh, like a sacrifice. So when they leave the baby, they don't like he doesn't track down these people. He doesn't kill the members. But, uh, you know, Anne sees this situation going on, so she gets her little spear and goes out to try and, uh, you know, kill this xenomorph. And they actually give her a grenade, and she shoves it in the xenomorph's mouth and blows him to bits and shit like that after they trap him on some spikes. Fucking sick little short story, man. Uh, definitely one of my favorites out of this whole book. I love the artwork. I think the story was tremendous, and, like, it's just, I don't know, it's really good, man. These uh, The Aliens ones, the magazines, they're, they're very hit or miss in these, I'll say. So that one was a hit for sure. Uh, some of the ones that are later in the book, they're definitely a miss. I wasn't too much of a fan of them. The artwork isn't the best, and it is what it is. After the Sacrifice storyline there, you get the Rogue issues 1 through 4, which is really cool story, man. It's a goes back to more of like the royal jelly and them trying to like really market the aliens kind of uh you know benefit from this terrible situation that has happened with the aliens and people just getting straight murdered and shit all the time so i, I like one uh quote that one of the uh, individuals said in this book where he said we don't just conquer our fears we market them so that's definitely a kind of a theme throughout this little series here and throughout other stuff too with the bioweapons and all that there's that awesome wraparound cover there from issue number four but uh the Rogue story is really cool, man, and it has really good art throughout it. I love, like, that sick alien. Oh, you get this weird little, like, 
thing at the end of it too with this uh this creature just cooking up like the face hugger eggs and shit like that and just uh frying them up and eating them which is kind of funny but uh definitely cool story in the in the rogue stuff man i, I definitely really like this this omnibus a lot i i would say i prefer the first one a little bit better because these stories are a little bit more scattered uh at least the the first omnibus had mainly stories about like ripley and newt and hicks which i like that their characters kind of followed out these are all kind of separate stories throughout which is uh it's fine i mean it's still very good but i kind of prefer having those main characters throughout it but uh you definitely do get some really good stories though and you'll get some more mad scientists as you always will throughout these alien books so you get aliens labyrinth one through four here which is pretty cool man you have this craft where there's this dr paul church and he's uh doing a bunch of tests to uh xenomorph and kind of like how like a, a a mouse does like those tests that you always see in like science video type shit or whatever so he's like running through a maze and all this things set up uh, but there's a man investigating because of just kind of like some accidents and such that have happened on this craft and there's actually a woman uh mcginnis that's there she's investigating secretly her the the loss of her boyfriend so her like boyfriend disappeared so she's here on this ship trying to find out where he is and uh, it all leads to this doctor like kind of trapping these people and then it goes into this crazy doctor's like backstory where he was just like chilling with these aliens and shit and all this fucked up stuff was happening to him which is pretty <laughs> disgusting and creepy man you have like the dude doing the baby bird shit from ace venture like spitting fucking food into their mouths and stuff and you have the mcginnis woman she finds her uh her lost boyfriend there like all rigged up it's it's a it's a good fucking issue a uh, couple issues man it's it's definitely one to check out for sure and then you get the uh, aliens colonial marines one through ten after that which this is a great uh couple issues too man just your basic comic style big panels of battles and shit going on with the uh marines and the xenomorphs like all the, the the artwork is just really good it's bright colorful uh like like i said you get like big spreads throughout all these issues here just like this here so it's it's really a it's 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 adventurous and then you get this fucking awesome character here man you get herc mondo the self-proclaimed professional bug hunter uh he's he's ridiculous yo he rolls up and just starts murdering aliens like nobody's business, man. And like the Marines are talking about him. They're all, it's kind of been like a, a thing that he's like a legend, really. And there's stories that of uh, they've heard of him taking out a hive single handedly and all this shit, man. So it's it's really cool, man. And then it uh, gets on to this synth issue here with this android dude, which is pretty badass. But uh, all these uh, Colonial Marines issues were really cool, man. And uh, it's a it's an explosive ending, let's say. Uh, <laughs> then it gets onto more of the magazine stuff. This is the stuff that I was talking about before that uh, I wasn't like too fond of. Unfortunately, this is uh, Aliens Magazine 13 through 20 Crusade. I wasn't really a huge fan of this. Uh, the artwork is kind of muddy and it, it, I don't, it's just not the best. Uh, not one of my favorites. But luckily, after those Alien magazines, you're going to get this Alien Salvation storyline here, which is really good. Definitely just well written. Uh, it's, a, it's a quick little couple issues, too. And it's beautiful artwork, man, throughout it. I was really a fan of the, uh, the art through here. So definitely a cool one to go. As the book progresses, man, you're going to get a lot of, like, really good, like, more comic-y style stuff, which was good. And here's the... Uh, Dark Horse Presents 17 through 19 Alien, which uh, the uh, cover work from Paul Mendoza is there. So this is the uh, the DM variant cover that is on this uh, omnibus. This is great, man, too. Just love the artwork, man. Great stuff. Just uh, some real good comic book style shit, which uh, I was definitely a big fan of. Now, uh, oh, God, Jerry, the cigar smoking alien. You got to love that shit. So I, that's why it gets like kind of cheesy and ridiculous as the, the book goes on. But I fucking love it. I was a fan of all of it. So uh, getting into what this book collects, too, before we get into the extras, really, this uh, collects Aliens Rogue 1 through 4, Aliens Colonial Marines 1 through 10, Aliens Labyrinth 1 through 4, Alien Salvation, Aliens Music of the Spears 1 through 4, and Aliens Stronghold 1 through 4. Plus material from Dark Horse Comics 3 through 5, 11 through 13, 15 through 19, Previews 1993, 1 through 12, Previews 1994, 1, and Aliens Magazine 1992, 19 through 20. So in the back, you'll get the extras, some sketch work and all that. Some great stuff, man. I absolutely love this omnibus. That's the standard edition cover right there. Uh, let me know what you think about this omnibus down in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, we are giving away Thor by Walter Simonson, Omnibus, and a Mystery Slab. All you gotta do to get yourself entered in a giveaway is be subscribed to the channel, like and comment on a video where I mentioned this giveaway. When we hit 1,000 subs, I'll use a random comment generator to announce the winner. Good luck.